guys um good evening guys and uh i hope you're doing well especially on my daughter i hope you guys are really doing well you know um i thought i must share with you my thought you know um right now particularly given everything that is happening in our country you know um we, we might see men taking their own lives now and um yeah and be alarmed the truth is men are going through the most men are going through the hardest of times and um sometimes you know we put ourselves under pressure i must acknowledge that but sometimes it is the society we live in you know we as daughter and daughter um when we say daughter and daughter all that we mean is that a man must take responsibility a man must you know act like a man that he calls himself and um we we understand you know that we we are living in um in a society where toxic masculinity has taken over and it has driven men you know um to committing atrocious um acts and um that we call we, we condemn we condemn in every way but the truth is, um, let, let's maybe understand where this masculinity comes from, which, you know, we as men often take to, you know, um, to, 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 to um, extremely high levels. You know, when God created a man, he created, you know, a man to be strong, created a man you know to physically you know to be strong and you know to be masculine and um, um when he created a woman he created a woman to be softer and you know paul puts it you know um nice when he says women are weaker vessels and when he says that he's not saying that you know women are useless women you know are, it, it really you know um that verse speaks to the nature of women which is why maybe i must say this which is why i have a problem with you know um the slogan that anc youth league and which you know a lot of men of, of, of women out there use that were tindabafaz or tindimbogod you know because um if you're going to speak of imbogod imbogod is just a stone um as he as as the closest to a stone even though men are not could be men um women are delicate women are soft women are sensitive and for me you know it's not insulting a woman when you refer to her as you know a a, a, a delicate and a soft um, and fragile being the problem that we have is when men fail to grasp that when men fail to understand you know that women are to be protected but let's look at perhaps a number of things um and one of them is you know um the fact that men um through the strength that we have been given, which is both physical and mentally, by the way, uh, when we get, we start to use that against women. When our strength, you know, is no longer means for us to protect women, children, and, you know, the elderly, when we use that against them, you know, to their detriment, then it becomes a problem. And that for me, is um you know what people refer to as toxic toxic masculinity men have to be strong you know it's by nature that we are strong and we cannot take 
you know, that away from men. And, you know, um, I've seen a number of times men being demasculated, men, you know, being made to feel that, you know, um, they should not be what God created them to be. And then that for me, you know, is, 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 is um, countering the, the, the weight that we do. Men must remain strong. And um, in their strength, men must, you know, um, take their position in the communities. But, you know, when we look at the role that, you know, we as men have been given, our role men is to protect. That's why, you know, um, our strength and, um, you know, our know-how is what, you know, these women around us rely on. And sometimes you don't have to be physically strong, but, you know, understanding that, you know, even, you know, um, within a household, it becomes your responsibility to, you know, um, make sure that the perimeters are safe, the perimeters are guarded, um, you know, the electrical fence, if, you know, need be, the alarm and all of that. It is means for a man to strengthen his safety your family are you and that's why I say both strength and you know the know-how when it comes to protection and also love you know of course I mean you'll understand that you know I derive you know um, my worldview from the Bible I read the Bible and um, as, as, as a born again child of God I have a worldview that is you know influenced by the Bible and the Bible when it speaks of love which is what Tina my daughter you know um, are supposed to show you know um, to women we love and in turn we get respect and love is action love is you know um, is doing um, that's why I often say um, as long as a person does not feel loved by you you must know you have not started loving that person I'm talking now now you know um, when you know your partner feels unloved you must know that you have not loved it because when you love a person you love that person the way that person wants to be loved you know and um, and in turn we get respect and often you know we 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 we, we hear women and even us men saying I he do, you know she doesn't um, respect me and therefore I don't love her I don't show love or, or rather she cannot complain that I don't love her and and then in turn women would say the same thing doesn't matter who starts supposedly a man is supposed to start showing that love because I mean common sense um, we were made first and women were taken off a woman not women <laughs> unfortunately a woman was taken you know from your side and um, was was brought to you for you to what? To love her so that she can respect you. And also, you know, provision. A man's responsibility is to provide. But here is one thing, a discussion that I think we're not having, particularly as the church. Um, you know, when it comes to uh, um, provision, a man provides um, maybe let's look at how things were so that you can understand. And the reason why I was saying there's a discussion that we are not having um, as, as, as believers, it is, you know, the sole responsibility of a man to provide. And that is putting pressure Emma Dodin because now when a man is getting, you know, uh, paid less than, you know, the woman, then the man's ego gets fragile and, you know, um, gets bruised. Maybe let's look at it from a biblical perspective. Back then, you know, um, systems were different. Um, men had to use their strength um, as a means of getting, you know, food for the family, which is hunting, which is uh, uh, um, uh, plowing the fields. Women were really, you know, um, not their makeup was not was not you know uh, in such a way that they would do the kind of you know uh, chores that men would do and therefore 
Um, that's why you would see women when it's time look for and harvesting because it was not intensive labor. So the, the, the issue of provision, we need to talk about it because I see that, you know, um, with the change of his indoor around, you know, us, um, let's accept that. <laughs> Even in the Bible, by the way, um, I can quote you verses where, you know, hustlers are women, providers are women, but I'm not there. Um, so, so, so we need to look to, to look at that and understand that things have changed. You know, the makeup of the family has, has has changed. The economy has changed. So, this pressure on men is really uncalled for, and it's putting unnecessary pressure on men, and it is a source of you know uh, mental uh, mental issues. Let's look at that, and uh, and let's have those discussions. And you know, also men's responsibility is to lead. And when a man lead, he leads by showing direction. When, when in the Bible, um, Eve was introduced, God speaks of her as help. Says, um, and the kind of help that Eve was going to, 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 to bring, you know, in this setup, was to enhance and strengthen the work of God. Because even though God, you know, placed Adam in the garden, and the garden that, you know, had everything, by the way, which even God, which God even made sure that um, it is supplied water and different streams were coming to supply water for the garden. But he gave a responsibility to Adam. So um, <clears throat> when a woman comes into a man's life, a man, you know, um, is supposed to find help, and um, and that help, you know, is supposed to um, be for the purpose of the of the assignment. And uh, you know, <clears throat> again, does the society understand men? It's a question that I, I, I it's a question that I ask myself all the time. And unfortunately, I've not gotten to a point where I am convinced that the society understands men. Not yet. And allow me to say the our society does not understand men. But again, taking it maybe a notch, a notch uh, uh, higher, do men understand themselves? Does a man understand himself? And the answer is no. I've not, you know, gotten to that point where I feel Uguti um Tina Singamaton says understanding of Pelele. Because if the angel um, we would not have a society that uh, puts men under so much pressure. There's a lot of oh, indoor damask, indoor damask, indoor damask, you know, um, in every area. We are busy impressing people that we have no business impressing. We are busy, you know, trying to, you know, have a Porsche lives um, to and then and have, you know, expensive cars and impress girls. We have nothing and impress girls who don't have anything to offer and that for me is a problem that's why i say men don't understand themselves in the first place you cannot no ascertain impress a girl a girl who is you know who has nothing to offer i i i i really i really want to understand that because the best thing that you can do to impress a woman It is to love it. It is to love it. And as I said, kukwenza. Now you cannot love a woman by 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 having her as a concubine and you know um and then and, and, and go around trying to impress her uh, without you know even having a direction by the way in a real relationship. For me, these Iwale raccoons. I didn't have a headache. And the only remedy is Iwalet. That's utter rubbish. And I know for a fact that um, these are not jokes. These are not jokes. Or if they are jokes, 
Well, when these men go through the most and send these Iwalets, these girls are not saying no. That's why I am convinced that these are not jokes. Um, so I think, guys, let's let, let's just stop, man, impressing people. We have no 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 business impressing. We are putting ourselves under too much pressure. We don't owe these girls e -E wallet. We don't owe these girls um, a, a posh, you know, flats. We don't owe these girls my daughter. Um, a, a, a brand new cars. Because even this day, man, even says Zama, you're driving a Tesla, you can move from point A to point B. And they are the first ones to say, Aina, Aina has airbags. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. But also, I do want to, to, to um, mention the issue of sex. Guys, we have lied to each other and we have allowed, you know, the enemy to infiltrate something that is beautiful, something that is for us to enjoy. Guys, there's a lot of abnormality that, that is being bended around here. I'm not going... I don't want to, 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 to you know, um, go deep on, 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 on this. But, hey, the best sex between individuals who are in love with each other, and hopefully who are married, is the kind of sex that both of you have sat down, talked about, and agreed. For me, um, I enjoy it when it sends like this way. <sighs> Communication again. Sometimes we go at lengths trying to impress girls um, who actually don't even like sex. <laughs> to start with. But because there's expectations and <laughs> you guys, guys and there's ability that has not been communicated guys sex the whole night is impractical rounds upon rounds and upon rounds it is really impractical so sit down leave all this rubbish sit down with Mbuao and Open yourself up, yourself up and say, how do we do it? Now, as an individual, when do I feel satisfied? And you work around that. Because sometimes these unspoken uh, uh, rules, well, spoken rules, but in the context now of the relationship, they really are messing things up. Sit down on do alcohol. And you know, just speak about these things. I, I'm, 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 I'm tired of you know um, hearing men going on and on and on about this into that you know they have no business worrying about. Again, sex is communication. If you cannot communicate, then you are not going to have sex. It's all you are not going to have beautiful sex. Sex is to be enjoyed, but it has to be communicated. Telling you, um, as in guys, may, 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 may we identify as a zindo that are, that are causing problems for us. Identify them and deal with them. Because now, you know, um, Google, you know that we must be preoccupied with it is our mental well-being. And we are piling upon ourselves loads and loads that we cannot carry. Because, Tina, we are gullible. So gullible that um, we, we, have, we have taken myths and communicated myths and allowed 
excuse me, is social, is social media to dictate our lives. Oh, by the way, if um, social media is a cruel or you, you, you feel it, 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 it is contributing to your mental unwellness, log off. Puma, stay away, find something that is going to be a source of your entertainment. It's that important. It is that important. So, um, again, I'm, 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 before I sound on I'm bashing women, to give value to your relationship, it is to, you know, marry a woman that you have identified as somebody that you love. There's, 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 guys, this thing of having relationships, five-year anniversary relationships, this job, it is outdated, and um, it's causing problems. That's why, before we even get there, when you get into a relationship, this relationship must be clearly defined. Expectations must be here. And deliverables and the ability must, 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 be, must be identified, guys. So that you are not thinking about, you know, we're having fun, um, you know, we're just passing time. Yet, Mutanaban is expecting you to marry her. If you are not going to, to, to get married, that must be clear from the onset. So that Kumadukumdu was going to be had. Because um, these relationships um, are founded upon emotions. Emotions, the part and a great part of this relationship. So we need to work around the expectations of the Tunji and, and see, 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 see the right. Define this relationship and define the expectations, man, guys. Um, and again, what we can do, let's do. What we cannot do, let's accept what we cannot do and make those around us to know that um, as squares of Fikelela and And constantly remind ourselves of, you know, our abilities. Let's not compare ourselves with anyone. Let's be individuals, you know, abenzis and dozabo, gentlelayabo, and bafmani contentment, equins and long. So, personally, I just want us to, you know, remember that the onga matrasha, that our mental wellness is our responsibility. And those small things that we can remove, let's remove them. And there are times when you'll have to be very selfish. There are people that um, are bringing nothing but drama in your life that you need to get rid of. Only, Obana, you are taking responsibility for your mental wellness. So guys, um, again, I think, you know, we, 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 we are not um, reacting, but there is a problem and we need to deal with the problem. And the problem is anxiety and depression. Men are, you know, overwhelmed. This is into Nabuboom. That's why they go, you know, Baba Tati drugs. That's why they go, you know, and then throw themselves into alcohol. That's why they go, you know, into pornography. That's why they go uh, into partying. The weekend, Monday, exhausted. Like, like, like an ass. As, no, be uh, sick. So, Again, let's take charge of our lives and make sure Ubuti, we protect ourselves from um, Ababan.